You shall have the power of seeing, the power of understanding, to see with the mind's eye into the mist of heaven, to discern the omniscient God, seeing in secret where man sees nothing. This is about to be done indeed, certainly and without doubt. The first fruits have a certain fearful expectation that in certain days a man of importance and eminent personage shall come, and the first fruits shall experience something extraordinary. Save God forbids, no man can deny or hinder this action. Yahushua declares, I shall destroy death, separating you from it, and you shall enjoy the pleasures of your separation. This shall be accomplished, and I will thoroughly furnish you perfectly. I shall bring to an end, finish, and render the days complete. I shall fulfill them, and you shall be fitted, made ready and prepared, complete and perfect, with special aptitude for given uses. Henceforth, at this very time, the divine bread from heaven, Jesus Christ, the source of heavenly life, shall be served to the children, and we shall be taken away out of the body and out of the world. We shall see Jesus himself personally, God himself and not another, the heavenly things themselves, our chief leader and master of rest in that day for this very purpose in the air. Those who have condemned themselves shall be judged worthy of punishment. They shall be judged according to themselves because they contend, argue, fight, and struggle against Christ in vain. We shall see him as eyewitnesses with our own eyes to behold Christ, to become acquainted with him by experience, to perform an autopsy, a post-mortem examination, to look carefully upon and inspect Jesus himself in the air. Amen. Shalom.